All right, wasting some time here. We're gonna make this a quick one. This is a tier five Omaha part of the uh, three part series I was doing on it. Uh, so I did the commentary for this after the gameplay. I did that because I had some uh, relatives over. They were watching a movie I've already seen, uh, John Wick. If you haven't seen John Wick, go watch it. Great movie. They were also watching Daredevil. Uh, seen that too. Also a good movie on uh, series on Netflix. Go watch it. Both good stuff. Just an opinion though. Uh, yeah, so I had to get some gameplay and I already seen both of those things, so I played this, but it was too loud to actually record commentary at the time. Anyways, let me know what you think of the commentary. Alright, action stations. First try at the after commentary. See how this goes. In the tier 5 Omaha on fault line. Domination mode. See what the hell this guy does. And yeah. Exciting so far. Probably gonna go a little bit more into what I do when I'm aiming and my, my thought process behind that because I, I generally don't uh, have time to explain it while I'm doing it. Maybe I can help some people get some shots on target. And the enemy has a fail platoon. They have that Hosh dot with the uh, St. Louis and a Wyoming. It's not the best matching. I yeah, really wish Wargaming would do something about that, but they just generally refuse in any of their games. I'm going to see, by the way. It's actually a decent matchmaker for my team. Uh, <clears throat> they have... It's pretty good. I mean, they don't have a, a carrier, so that uh, that's good for our team. It's bad for them. Yeah, we're just kind of sailing here. I wonder what I was going through my brain when I'm playing this at the moment. I was playing it, I don't recall. Yeah, that Isokazi, Buzzweiser72, that's a cool name. And it uh, looks like they have a slight battleship advantage. And uh, maybe a slight cruiser advantage. Just because they have a. Actually, it looks even. That Hashidot, that doesn't guy. He doesn't count, really. Launch Star Fighter, just for giggles, because you know they don't have any actual <clears throat> planes that can come attack us, but it will help spot torpedoes. Loaded some AP, try to uh, shoot war, and when I'm start starting to shoot somebody, I generally a couple things. Nice Citadel hits right there. I well, that was a complete whiff. I try to look at the time on target and how fast they're moving in X amount of time. You know what I mean, so in 5.7 seconds, is that guy going to make the corner? You know? And I completely whiff that again. He slowed down too. That's a good job on the uh, war's part. I'm going to lob a few more over. I actually landed four citadels on that guy. That is why I... Uh, Team is the Especially lead. tier 5 Omaha. Any tier 4 or 5 cruiser, I will shoot AP at them. I don't care uh, really what the range is, as long as they're. I don't know. As long as they're not uh, too good at the maneuvering. War, he wasn't that great at maneuvering. He did slow down a little bit, but I think that was mainly. Uh, he was trying to hide behind there. It looks like he was gunned down by. Our other Omaha. I think there's an enemy destroyer right there. Yeah, Wicks. Load some HE for him. Another swing and a miss. This is a really bad. Uh, some destroyer captains are really predictable and they'll just like make a full circle. It's not the best the idea. That was an overshot. Yeah. I'm judging myself really harshly right now. <laughs> Shoot better, damn it. He's just trying to run behind the island. Target penetrated. There you go. Got some hits on the guy. Took his engine out. Or his... Uh, Torpedoes to port. Or his rudder. I didn't see which one it was. And everybody's going around this corner so yelling mine. 
Moorhaven. Quick two kills for our team at the uh, C point. That's always nice. He's going to eat a torpedo, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is. Budweiser, 72. Good kill, sir. Now we're going to sneak up behind the enemy. Or whatever the hell I did. I don't remember what I did, actually. <laughs> it was a, a long match that was uh, pretty good. Set two fires. I think I set the uh, that wicks on fire. If you look at the uh, the map at uh, in between the two and three line at uh, E, you can see a, a lone battleship all by his lonesome up there. Doing that is not the best idea. He has six ships that are most likely within range of him. He's probably going to go down pretty quick. I think he does go down really quick. And that's uh, not really anybody's fault but his own for getting out there. There he is. He is down. What was his name? Billy. Yeah. Yeah, Billy. Just overextended, sir. Got a devastating strike, so I'm assuming he was torpedoed. Never know though. I think it was a destroyer that killed him. Yeah, a destroyer killed him. Jumping out in front of torpedoes doesn't help anybody. Looks like we're going to B. Go rain more destruction upon our enemies. Anyways, in the comments, let me know if you like uh, if you like the post battle commentary. Or if the uh, in battle, while I'm doing it, if you like that better. But like I was saying, I do like playing the alternate uh, display function up because it does you give you the range that you're currently targeting and the time to target. So the range is obviously on the right. The time to target is on the left. That little stops watch there. Looks like we're going to try to ruin Mr. Anderson. I think that's what his name is. Nice name, sir. St. Louis. So St. Louis's range is 10.2 if I remember correctly. We loaded AP for him. Want to get some Citadel hits. And it is doable against the St. Louis. It's kind of hard. Uh, they do have small Citadels right under the smokestacks. They're not that big though, but if that's where uh, you want to aim if you're trying to get them. Anyways, you can, in a Phoenix or Omaha, easily maintain favorable favorable range and just rain destruction upon them see there's the citadel right in the middle nice and middle of the ship that's where you want your shots to land there's two more and he decides to turn just a little bit st louis really can't go anywhere i mean it's i mean there's just not really nothing he can do he did he didn't even overextend very far past his team and he's just Getting completely wrecked. Another Citadel on him. Yeah, just check out, you know, as far as aiming, I just try to see how far they're going to be in like this situation. Like, where is the St. Louis going to be in 6.6 .6 seconds? You know what I mean? That, that's it. I believe we got uh, four more Citadels on that St. Louis. Yeah, you can just maintain the range, you know, max range of him. He can't shoot at you, and you can just uh, keep whatever range you want on him. Ideally, uh, outside of your range and inside of yours. Really just, we're picking on St. Louis's right now. Torpedoes. Just picking on them. They are hard to hit the Citadels, but can do it. For sure. Judging myself kind of harshly. There you go. Finally load AP on that guy. I don't remember what I get on him though. A little too far forward to where I wanted him to land, but he starts maneuvering now. Just get nice hits on the guy. He can't shoot at me. Let me slow down. He's trying. He's trying. You know what I mean? Definitely respect the effort, sir, but he probably is best uh, bet for 
probably would have been just throwing out a whole bunch of notes and driving away, or sailing away. No citadels, but we are getting good damage on the guy. I'm maneuvering against those battleships. The other thing I really like is the incoming warning. That was a whole bunch of spalling on that round. 310 on six shots. That's a better hit. But uh, yeah, the incoming fire. I really like that. Enemy it really helps, sunk. especially in the uh, fast uh, cruisers, because you can stay at pretty, pretty far range and just mess your enemies up and destroyers that drive in a straight line. I I thank you every enemy destroyer that does that. I'm definitely just gonna try to burn down this Wyoming. And like I said, just uh trying to see and figure out where he's gonna be in six seconds, six, seven seconds. And trying to remember everybody's top speed so he can go a little over twenty knots. In the Wyoming. I'm talking so much, I'm probably gonna have to turn down the main volume. And I always prioritize, uh, prioritize, prioritize. Damn, we're a fighter ready for takeoff. Destroyers. Especially in my copy. That he keeps on going straight. I, I appreciate that. Notice the incoming warning came in. I believe that was from a battleship that was shooting HE. And I am kind of screwed right now. I'm on fire and my engine's down, so. Enemy destroyer foundered. It's really fortunate that I killed that destroyer. <laughs> because I'm not in a good way at the moment. This ghost is about make me pay for what I did to him. He slowed down significantly. I'm trying to turn away from him just to be as small as a target as possible. I'm just cringing just I know what happens but it's just it makes me cringe to see the rounds coming in at me not being able to move at all another strategy when you're shooting HE especially at a battleship so a ship can have four fires on it and when you have a fire on one section you can't obviously start another fire so if you have them like, let's say the forward portion of the ship is on fire, you probably want to shift fire to the middle or back so you can try to set the other fires when you're using HE. We destroyed an enemy battleship. There you go. Nice uh, kill still right there. Our team has taken the lead. Above it. And we have Ghost Mason. I believe we set three fires on him that we're burning right now. And that's just going to eat away his, his uh, health pool really quick. And now I'm out for revenge. <laughs> Omaha is a really fun ship. And if you if you stay at range, you can do a lot of damage. When I say range, I under 10k, you don't need to be fighting anybody under 10k. You can kill all of your opponents outside of that range. And there's not a lot of ships that can close with you. If you don't want them to, unless you just run out of space. First uh, swing and miss. Let's see, so I have a back portion on fire, and now we want to get the front on fire. I thought he's already going to be down before it uh, happens, I believe. He looks like you just put it out, too. But he just doesn't have enough health. The enemy team has taken the lead. <laughs> uh oh. Enemy battleship founder. My headset is dying. No. Alright. 
Anyways, I'm recording this on the first try. I'm not going to do any, any second takes. We're just going to leave it the way it is. <laughs> be like uh, Batman on the Lego movie. First try. Now we're going to B. We kind of got a little farther out there than I, I, I like. I, I tend to do that a lot. I get too far out, but, you know, it uh, just happens. Sometimes. And they have a Omaha, a Miyogi, and a South Carolina. But the points are pretty even because they are taking the cap. Always like a, a good round full of destruction. Magic Walnuts. <laughs> Alright, I like the name. Hello, Miyogi. I like the name Magic Walnuts, it's amusing. And first, uh, first round landed, there you get a fire. It's always... And we just started a second fire. It's just... <laughs> Cruisers and HE at the moment are just uh, ridiculous. It's just an opinion, though. They make for fun cruiser play. I believe he set those fires, uh, put them out. And also, the, the man, the accuracy on their ship uh, is pretty, pretty good. It's really good, actually. And right now, I'm kind of breaking what I said earlier, even. Uh, probably got a little of the the mine I want the kill syndrome which does happen I'll admit that so I'm like no I want the kills I want to kill it I have a problem with that at the uh, end of the match when I'm pretty sure we're gonna win I'll I'll start getting stupid and I'm trying to land shots on the superstructure but didn't have a lot of it that is why uh, shooting HE at him to shoot really high. Got another fire on the gentleman. I believe that's just two fires. I probably should be aiming a little bit farther forward, trying to set the uh, front of the ship on fire. A fighter returning to ship. Good job, fighter. His name's Bob. South Carolina right there. I can't shoot the other gentleman yet. And here comes a completely shameless kill still right there. <laughs> Just, I, I will do it. I'm, I'm sorry. I could be a terrible person. Right now I'm, I'm kind of having a oh crap moment. So I'm turning it into him. I was like, nope, don't shoot me, please. And I think I was. Even now, I was totally preoccupied. I didn't even notice if he shot his back guns. But have, have a torpedo, please. Or two. <laughs> and that was kill number seven. Nice round. That was my uh, first victory of the day. And I did have the. Uh, 50% XP flag mounted, I think, if I recall correctly, but it's a pretty good game. I think at this time I was probably uh, laughing like a maniac, and my wife had also walked in, so that's probably why it's taking a bit of time. But yeah, we got a high caliber, the arsonist, and the confederate flag, if I remember, and I think I'm being a big, huge dork, and I'm showing this to my wife. <laughs> She walked in. Anyway, so the reason I had the uh, whole uh, dirt after battle commentary is because I had people, my mother and her husband were over visiting. They were watching a John Wick movie I've already seen and uh, needed to get some games in. So I went ahead and played. Couldn't record it because uh, John Wick is, they had the volume up quite loud. It's a pretty good game. Really liked it. Uh, 34,000 damage on the 15 fires. 48 for HE and 57 for AP. I really do like shooting AP at the appropriate targets. Anyways, come back and see me. Hope you enjoyed.